You asked for that product and this was actually pretty hard to do. So I went to Wikipedia and the search dot product. I couldn't understand anything. So I went to Estonian Wikipedia and it turned out to be Skalar Gorotis, which I do remember from high school. Now Skalar Gorotis or dot product takes vectors and makes them scalar, which means only one value will be put out. The dot product by itself works like that. You take two vectors and then you normalize them, which means you calculate their length. And if it's anything other than one, you adjust the coordinates to make sure it is one. Then you multiply the respective coordinates of each vector and add them together. So now you have the dot product. And what are you going to do with it? Well, um, it wasn't the easiest thing to find out what to do with it. It can be used to calculate the angle between vectors. So if the dot product is 1, the vectors are parallel. If it's 0, the vectors are under the angle of 90 degrees. And if it's minus 1, the vectors are anti-parallel. Any number between them is also possible. It just means there is a different angle between them. And knowing all of that, we can create procedural snow. So here I have a little mountain or it actually is supposed to be quite big. It's created with geometry nodes and we're gonna add some uh, snow on it. So currently the mountain looks like that. Everywhere we have snow and this isn't very good. We have to add snow to the faces that are meant to be snowy. So what do I mean by that? Well I mean that for example let's say we have a mountain like that. The snow is coming down from the sky and it's gonna fall on the mountain. And we have a lot of snow on this side here, on this face. And then we have a little less here and a little less here. And we have absolutely nothing down here. So here we have no snow at all. So we need a mask for the snow where the value here is one, right? Here is one, here it's like zero point something, let's say one. Here it's 0 0.2 and down here it is uh, 0, no snow at all. So how do you calculate this? Well, as you know, each face has a normal, right? It's gonna point out from the center of the face under 90 degrees. We can calculate the dot product between the normal and the snow vector to know which face is facing towards the snow. These vectors up here are anti-parallel, so this means the dot product result will be minus 1. The face here is pretty much under the angle of 90 degrees. Let's say it's under 90 degrees and it has the dot product result of 0. And the face down here is parallel and has the dot product result of 1. So now you see we have exactly the inversion going on here because we should have 1 here. But instead of that, we just have anti-parallel vectors, which give us the result of minus one. So no snow up here, no snow here, no snow here. And we have a lot of snow down here because they are parallel with the snow vector. So we have the result of one. And this is white in the color space. So what we have to do is to invert the snow vector, right? Because right now the vector is zero, zero and minus one, because it's going straight down from the sky. And what we have to do is to invert the vector, turn this into a plus and remove the part down here. And now we have parallel vectors up here. So this means one and anti-parallel down here, which means minus one. And the ones like on the sides are also going to have a little bit of snow because they're more parallel than anti-parallel. So let's put it into action. Let's add a texture coordinate node to get access to the, to the normals. And as you see, the normals look like that. Each face is pointing in a different direction and now what we're going to do is to take the normal vector and the snow vector and calculate the dot product of them. So let's use the vector math node and add the dot product and let's type the snow vector here. So the snow vector is 0, 0, 1. We're going to type 0, 0 and 1 here. Voila, we have some uh, snow going on here. It's not very, I mean, it has a really low contrast so we can use a color ramp to create a stronger contrast here and now we have snow on only the faces that are pointing towards the sky and the faces that are like under a very steep angle are not gonna have any snow at all so if we would use this as the base color we would have a mountain like that which looks pretty plausible let's say but you know snow isn't always coming down like straight from the sky sometimes we have a snowstorm coming from this direction right or this direction and this is also very easy to achieve with dot product. So we can add a controller for our snow. So let's add a cube and make it smaller. And like, let's say the storm is gonna come from here. 
So let's place this here and let's go to the material. The cube is named cube001 and let's duplicate the texture coordinate and let's put the cube uh, here and let's plug the object coordinates of the cube, which look like that, to the dot product uh, snow vector. So now what happens is that it seems to be working. I mean, it is dynamic, as you see, it's gonna do its job, but the problem is that it's inverted. The snow is gonna escape from the cube running to the other side of the mountain, and this isn't very um, plausible. So what you have to do is to invert the object vectors of the cube, add a vector math node, and let's set it to multiply, because to invert something, we have to multiply it by minus one or with minus one. And now we have everything going on in a really nice way. You see, we have snow on the mountain and we can move this cube around here and the snow is only going to appear on the sides that are facing the cube. So that's how the dot product works. This is everything I know about this. I hope you learned something useful. I did learn something useful because I didn't know what the dot product was before. You also learned some Estonian, Scala Algorithms. I also started working on the beginner procedural object course with geometry nodes because this was what you wanted to learn. It's gonna take like three weeks or so and it's gonna be ready. Until then, have a nice day and when it comes out, it's gonna be an even nicer day.